What's going on, everybody? Hero Rations here, and today we are going to celebrate the MRE, or Meal Ready to Eat. And to do that, we're going to go back in time all the way to current. And instead of just opening just one MRE, we're actually going to open three different varieties, all the way back from 1981, um, Brown Bag MRE, all the way to uh, the Tan Bag that came out like in 1996, I believe, all the way to like a current modern day MRE. And uh, we're going to call it Where's the Beef? So I chose uh, three kind of similar uh, entrees from each different phase of the MRE. So uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, the MREs changed like menus and obviously the bag style and stuff like that. But I mean, it's, it's kind of been the staple um, combat ration for like 44 years, coming up on 44 years. So, um, you know, a lot of history here. So I thought it'd be really, really cool to kind of like start from the beginning. One of the earliest MREs here, we've got, uh, uh, which one's this here? This is uh, menu number eight. This is beefed diced with gravy. I've got beef stew here from this 1997-1998 uh, handbag MRE. And then from the, uh, the 2019 series, I've got uh, beef strips in a savory tomato sauce or savory tomato based sauce. So, um, you know, you guys, if you're watching this video, you probably have already seen like MREs um, several times. So we're not going to go in like too, too much detail. Um, you were, but we're definitely going to open everything up. We're going to give it a taste test. All those good things, kind of lay them all out here for you to see. But, um, you know, I just didn't want to go in like too much detail and, and bore everybody. So why don't we go ahead and start back in time all the way with this beautiful, beautiful uh, 1981 um, box over here uh brown bag mre i love these these older ones these like older mres um they're they're fantastic um sometimes sometimes the components maybe didn't age so well um sometimes they're freaking awesome sometimes they're terrible um but it's just really really cool to check out food that's you know kind of older than than you are um, so here's the contents here, uh, menu number eight here. We've got the accessory pack. We've got these crackers. Let me just go ahead and pop those open right now. And what we'll do is we'll kind of get like everything laid out, I think. We're going to get all the contents from uh, each of the MREs um, put out here on a plate so we can kind of compare and contrast the two and then like dive right in. There's our entree here, that beef diced with gravy. This is our beans with tomato sauce. We get this uh, chocolate covered brownie. Look at that. That's going to be pretty cool. And of course, we got this rock hard cheese spread. I'm going to just put that under my leg right now and let it, uh, let it warm up a little bit. And I've got like tons and tons of cups here, plates, so we can kind of get everything uh, together. Let's check out this brownie. Look at that. Totally looks intact. Pretty hard. Here's the old smell test. Like got a little bit of a, like a dry chemical smell. Yeah, I'm glad I came hungry. So I've got like three MREs worth of food sitting out here, here in a moment. I like these old green boxes. They're awesome. The only thing that's kind of like a bugger is that they do, they glue the inside of them. See that? They always glue the inside to the inside of the box. This is our beans and tomato sauce. Ugh, look at that. Stump that out. Let's see if I can get a date code on here. This looks like it might actually be um, very early, like 1982. This looks like it's actually the 25th day of 1982. Cool. So this guy just turned 42. I know I'm cheating there and trying a little bit of a taste test, but got to keep the hands clean. Look at that. Can all see that? There's nothing wrong there. I don't. I don't think. And um, to do this, yeah, I've got like tons. I've got a whole big pot of hot water because this is going to be several cups of coffee, um, several different entrees, probably some cocoa powder, 
And I, I got these uh, clear cups that actually hold up really well in, uh, in like a high heat, um, high heat liquid. This is the beef diced with gravy. Different kind of bag. It's kind of got like a, a crunchy cellophane to it. Oh, that actually smells really good. Wow. Yeah, I'm not I'm not lying there. That's that smells delicious. Ugh. It's got some like liquid separation there. It doesn't look very appetizing, that's for sure. Oh, I'm getting some all over the, the desk here. I'm cheating again. But hey, at least we can do the the early taste test to make sure that we're still good. So here we go. I've got my crackers, my brownie, my beef slices there. We'll check out the accessory pack. And we'll get this 1981-82 uh, MRE kind of all laid out. That's the accessory pack there. Got a nice sweet smell of the gum there. I've got my coffee instant. I've got my rock hard cream substitute. Oh yeah, that's like that's like as hard as like candied gum. That is not going in my coffee. We've got some iodized salt, of course, our toilet paper, our matches, our gum, and some sugar. All of which is not very exciting, but of course, we will start with the coffee from um, each of the uh, each of the bags here. So yeah, so again, I like these cups because they these um, these really thick solo cups seem to hold up really really well um, with hot water contents. So I brought them um, here for the this video and future videos because I think it does a better job kind of like showing the color and stuff like that. Again, not going to open that cream substitute. Why would I do that to myself? But I will pour in the, uh, the sugar here. And we'll give this thing a stir here in a second. But I am not going to... I'm not going to drink the whole thing, even if it's good. But it would be kind of cool to... Um, try out the coffee side by side from each of these MREs. Cool. Tastes like instant coffee. All right, so that's it. That's everything I got. Make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, I got my cheese spread. Um, we'll try that. We'll take a peek at that. And I don't really have good luck with these, though. These cheese spreads. Sometimes they've, like, turned kind of, like, tan and brown. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to pass on this cheese spread. Ugh. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, my cheese spread from 1981 has not aged very well. Oh, it's like on my tongue now. Unfortunately, we won't be able to try that. Hopefully, maybe there's some cheese spread in one of these later ones that isn't, you know, 43, 42 years old. We can give this one here a try. So round two, we're going to fast forward to... Uh, 1997, 1998. That's some good years if you're my age. And we'll kind of see the difference here with the, the MREs all laid out. Of course, right off the bat, you can see the accessory pack was different. You've got the inclusion of that MRE heater. Um, I could tell you these things are no good. There's those older MRE heaters. You can put water in them all day. They don't do anything. Those crackers side by side would be really cool to see. And I've got a loose thing of Charms candies that has like coated just about everything inside this bag. We got some cocoa beverage powder. And oh my gosh, the Charms candies like, yeah, look at that. Look what it did there. I hope that's not the beef stew that's compromised. It might be. We'll check it out though. I'm hoping that it's the Charms candies, but it's not really giving me any kind of uh, like scent or smell going on. Oh no, we're okay. 
Yeah, so even though you can see here this box, like some of the charms candy had like melted and like coagulated there, but like it doesn't have a sweet smell or like a sugary smell. But um, I've had like one of the MREs from this same case that did the same thing. Like the charms candies kind of like leaked and melted at some point. And they're, they're loose in the, in the MRE bag, which kind of sucks. But you can see here, it has like rendered everything sticky. And these things are like, these Charms candies are just like liquefied in there. And it's like all over my hands. We're going to put these things on their own separate plate. Right there. Oh. But the good news though, is that other than the heater so far, I can tell you everything in here should be all right. We've got some... Uh, what do we got here? We got some more of that cheese spread. You can see if that is any better. We've got our brown spoon now here from this MRE. You see, it went from that uh, MCI colored clear spoon now to the brown, much longer too, which is kind of cool. And that like let you get down into the bag better. So let's get some of these things out here on this plate. Here was our entree. I'm I'm very glad this this wasn't compromised. I was really worried looking at that that box. I mean, that's like, that's like how you find MCIs nowadays once the can has, has failed. Check this out here. Look at that. A lot of veggies in there. I see a lot of uh, see carrots and peas, potatoes. Oh, dropped a little bit on myself. That doesn't look too bad. These are uh, tan uh, bag MREs. I, I mean, I, I know that they later changed, like, you know, these more, I guess, decorative, a lot more graphics and stuff on the bag uh, later, I think in like 2006 or so, um, but these tan bag MREs is what I remember uh, eating in the service, and I can tell you I've probably had this one before, um, probably maybe not like from the 90s, maybe not that, that old, but um, probably the same menu types. What we got here? cookie bar chocolate covered it sure is it's also covered with some sticky crap from the melted charms candies oh that smells really good i remember this sucker this guy's really good hopefully the uh, past couple decades have been good to him there he is look at that chocolate covered cookie bar i think that's like a graham cracker cookie in there and sorry guys if I spill anything because I'm going to be uh, stuck literally to everything else that I open from these MREs, thanks to those Charms candies. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably already know of like the the urban legend or whatever about the Charms candies, about how like if you got them that was bad luck or whatever, um, or something bad was going to happen to you or your unit when you got those Charms candies. Check that out. Look at this. I'm so glad we get to do this. Like, look, you can compare and contrast the two. There's your old style MRE cracker compared to one of the newer ones. More like MCI hole perfor perforations, but square. They're roughly about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger here. This is like more like four saltine crackers kind of perforated together. That's pretty cool. And we got some stuff here to make here. We got, uh, I think they gave us some iced tea in this one, in this accessory pack. We'll get all these accessories out. We will definitely make some iced tea for sure. Why not? Some iced tea mix with lemon. We have a pile of trash here. Once we get done, I've never made more than one uh, of these older MREs at a time. So um, I'm doing, oh yeah, thank goodness. Look, I have a moist towelette just for the old darn Charms candies. And of course I got my salt, my matches, my toilet paper. Now I got Tabasco. This would have been a hit if they put it in this earlier, uh, the earlier MREs. And um, thank goodness I got this moist towelette clean my hands hopefully it's still good it's still good nice uh, lemony scent to it but it is kind of falling apart I didn't want to go into like the detail too much with the accessory packets but this is kind of an emergency guys 
I'm doing the best I can. This moist towelette has not uh, aged all that well. It's not like toilet paper, but definitely like wet paper towels. But it is doing the trick and getting Melted Charms candies off my hands. Uh, we got that cheese spread here we'll check out last. I've got, uh, I've got some beverage powder, and it is great. Awesome. Look at this. That's why I'm so glad that I brought all these darn cups out here. Just check out this MRE here. I'm going to have three darn drinks just for this one. I've got grape beverage powder. I've got iced tea, and I've got cocoa beverage powder. Look at that. Holy crap. That's a lot of drinks. There we go. All right, let me get this right here. I got coffee here. For my early MRE. That's not bad. We've got some... Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Cocoa beverage powder. Might be making some hot tea now. There we go. I'll save a little bit left in there. I'm glad I brought the whole pot in. All right, let's get this iced tea going, too. Boom. We got some great, great beverage powder. Cool. I might have to go get another bottle of water. I love the um, these older um, 90s uh, flavored beverage powders. They're awesome. Look at this. I have a ton of stuff to drink. I'm glad I came hungry. I get most of the chunks in that uh, cocoa beverage powder mixed up. And let's mix this grape up. I love it. There's just like something about these older um, drink powders that are just absolutely phenomenal. Oh yeah, like 90s Kool-Aid. Absolutely. That 100% that is all going down the hatch. Even if it's after this video ends. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the 90s out of the way. We'll check out this cheese spread here before we... Uh, before we officially do that, let's give that a go. And yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Same, same thing. It just turns into like peanut butter. And it smells like old feet. It really does. I'm gonna put there right next to all the uh, good food that I'm gonna eat, of course, without trying to compromise it too much. We'll move our 90 drinks of choice here out of the way. And we'll open up one of these modern ones. Uh, this is from a, uh, I think, yeah, a 2019 pack. And we've got the resealable bag, which is cool. Cool graphics on the front. Got these Warfighter type graphics. And let's check it all out. Look at that. Good bit of stuff. And yeah, we got uh, Irish cream cappuccino instant powder. We've got a beef strips and savory tomato sauce there with the uh, menu card, which is kind of cool. Peppermint candy rings. Totally different variety of stuff here. We got the heater. We can try that if we got enough water left over. Nut raisin mix. We got blackberry jam. We've got peanut butter. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. Beverage mix. We've got... Uh, over here, white snack bread, and then lastly, we got the entree, which it doesn't even come in a, a box, it comes with like the backing there, which is kind of cool. And look how they did the pouch on that, too. They did it with the perforations across the top, which I guess the design there was to try to get you where it's a little bit easier than down and so deep into the bag, you can just tear it across the top. Cool. Let's see, got these beef strips and savory tomato sauce. Yeah, definitely a lot more uh, more runny. Smells the best. I don't know, maybe the, the one for the 80s MRE actually, I think, smelled pretty good, too. You get so much stuff here, though. We got this wheat snack bread. So we don't, we're not getting crackers anymore. We get, like, these guys. We get the little dry pack in there. I remember those, and they like cut it where it almost looks like a little piece of bread. It's not hard like a like the earlier crackers. 
We've got some peanut butter and some jam. We'll definitely try. I'm sure all this is good. And unfortunately, we don't have any cheese to go with it. We'll put a, we'll make a little ourselves a little PB and J here. We got some blackberry jam to do that with. There we go. Let's try it out. We'll take a little. Good stuff. Good fortified peanut butter. Blackberry jam is usually not my favorite go-to. More of a grape guy, but for the sake of trying this out, we'll we'll give it a little bit of a go here on the side. Very runny. Big chunk right there. Ugh. Come on out. Come on, bud. There you go. That's not too bad. Not too bad. We got this nut raisin mix. Should probably pour this out here on our second plate. M&M's in there with another dry pack. That doesn't look bad at all. And we'll put our little our jelly right there. Peppermint candy rings. All right. Holy smokes, look at that. That was very generous of them. Look at all that. And a whole bunch of peppermint lifesavers. Those are fantastic. Oh, that smells really good. Those are absolutely fantastic. Like, if you're, like, sucking in the field like hurting bad like on a rough march or something like that those things definitely come in handy and we got all the uh the usual offenders in here i'm not even gonna bother opening that for the sake of time and i want to eat this stuff here while it's still still good fresh from the bag irish cream cappuccino instant powder you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna actually pour that out so it's designed in a resealable bag where I can just put hot water in there or cold water in there, reseal it and shake it up. I'm not going to do that so you guys can see it. It smells really good. Okay. And I still got the the brown style spoon, so that's been a a change that hasn't gone anywhere for a few decades now. Man, this is a lot of food. It's like MRE Thanksgiving here. All beef entrees. Oh, man, that is good. That is good stuff. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, I think I do have a, a beverage base in here one of these newer MREs here. I've got a cranberry grape. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It smells good. And uh, I don't have too, too much water left, so we may not be able to mix it thoroughly. But... not bad. All right, we got everything laid out. Let's give it a roll. So we're going to start back, remove all of our other decades here, and back to the 80s. What do we got here? Well, these are from my 90s. Stuff. All right, we got this coffee here. Very burnt, not very good. I've got these, uh, these beans here in tomato sauce with the entree. This smelled really good coming out of the bag. It's not bad. Honestly, the worst part about this is the um, is the crackers themselves. Very dry and bland. I'm definitely not putting that foot cheese smell stuff on there. Uh, the beef pieces in there are a little bit tough. The gravy's not bad. 
kind of see it there close up. And you can see here, I just don't have a lot of um, variety. I mean, pretty, pretty basic when you think about it. I mean, I got a cup of coffee I can make here with the, with the side, my entree, cheese and crackers. The crackers, I mean, may have been making this more palatable at one point, but it's just not there. The beans and tomato sauce, that's it there. That's not bad. It's actually kind of sweet, um, the sauce. Yeah, and now, and I got some burnt coffee to wash it down with. We'll give this um, chocolate covered brownie a try. It's edible, but not very good. Um, it's just straight up sucking all the moisture out of my mouth. You can see it there. It's dry, almost like eating like an old D-ration bar. Yeah. Mm -mm. It tastes off. If I'm going to get sick from anything in this food layout, it's going to be that. So that's it, guys. That's it for the 80s. And, of course, I have my, you know, my couple extra accessory items and the foot cheese. Um, the, the side here, I'm going to go for another bite. Isn't too bad. Tastes just fine. The entree... It's good, kind of bland, but good good chunks of beef. Fairly tender. Crackers are black. I got I got some gum. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, time to go visit my favorite decade, and hopefully y'all's. We got our nineties and more here. With like 50 drinks. So let me get my drinks situated here. I know that I had some iced tea. I had some grape beverage powder. And I had some cocoa beverage powder. No coffee with this one. I got iced tea. We'll try the iced tea. <sighs> Washing down the 80s. That iced tea is not very good. You probably put a pack of sugar in there. Um... Good bit of lemon. Yeah. I'm not going to drink that anymore. What I am going to drink, we got this grape. And I'm just going to just imagine this is like Kool-Aid Purple Saurus Rex. Oh, man. That is freaking fantastic. And some cocoa beverage powder. Man, that is awesome. Both of these drinks are absolutely awesome. Um, the sweetness of this is perfect. This is just awesome. Like, I mean, this is a, this is like kid being a kid in the '90s summer drink, being a kid in the cold winter drink right here. Absolutely awesome. Let's check out the entree. I don't think this foot cheese aged any better since I opened it. Oh yeah, I mean it does. It just smells like it smells like dirty gym socks. It really does. It's just like, it's like tan Play-Doh, peanut butter. It's terrible. It's terrible. I don't even want it near my food right now. But we are going to try these MRE crackers out. Try them just like they are. Not bad. Give this entree a go. This is the beef stew. 
We got a good bit of stuff on there too. I had a pee. There it is. We'll put them on there just for the sake of showing you all the wonderful colors of the beef stew rainbow. It's okay. It's not a mirror image. Entree obviously has the um, um, the 80s MRE, but a good bit of veggies in here. Um, the beef pieces in here are not as tender. I think there's a lot more beef themselves. Maybe not as stringy. I don't know. I put it side by side with the uh, with the other one. Mm hmm. Very good. We'll give this chocolate covered cookie a try. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff there. A lot better than this one. I mean, you can see they're about the same size. Chocolate-covered brownie, real dry. This is just like a, a chocolate fudge-covered graham cracker. Mm-hmm. That I'm going to finish. This right here, these two things are better than anything you'll find in the grocery store today, hands down. Oh yeah, I'd eat like 20 of these if I could. Awesome. All right, thank you 1990s. Let's move on to the latest and greatest one that we have available to us. We've got uh, this fantastic entree. We've got uh, beef strips and savory tomato sauce. Again, this one's from um, 2019. And we've got a couple different things going on here. I had this like, whole plate of like, little sides and stuff. All right, so with this one, I had this, uh, this Irish cream cappuccino. It's just fantastic, and I had this uh, grape and cranberry base, but I didn't. I didn't have a lot of water left to, to dilute it all the way. But it's actually pretty good. I wish it was just grape, but um, as is, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I also got uh, some peanut butter here. I put just about the whole thing on this uh, on this white bread. Oh, some of the blackberry jam. Mmm. Mm hmm. That is good stuff. That is very good stuff. I'm gonna actually try to spread this around a little bit with the with the spoon. This right here, I, I would eat the whole thing of this too. This isn't bad at all. Mm -hmm. I know maybe you feel differently, but um, when they went away from the cracker to the white bread, I don't think that was a bad decision. I think that's pretty good. This is actually probably one of the newer or more um, 
less aged MREs that I've eaten. Um, so this one's about five years old. Um, um, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. They've definitely come a long way. That's for sure. After um, This would be about a 40-year span or so. 39 years spam. I feel like I get such a better variety too. Like I've got this, this entree looks good too. I'll try this out here. Good chunks of beef in there and the tomato sauce. Yeah. Like real good sized chunks. Look at some of this. Look at this right here. That whole piece there on the end. That's a big chunk of, um, of beef. All right, let's try all three back to back. Let's do that. We're going to go back here. Let's try our um, 80s here, uh, beef in the gravy. I'll try that. Okay. Boom. Let's try the 90s, the beef stew. Okay. And we'll try the beef strips. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I couldn't tell you which one I prefer over the other. Um, this one has, like, I think the bigger cuts of beef in it, the modern one, which is, which is great. I mean, look, there's even some bigger ones here. Look at this one. There's a whole piece of beef right there in the sauce. Which I think, I mean, if you're wanting that protein and stuff, just makes it absolutely fantastic. Mm hmm. And you've got this trail mix here with some peanuts and MMs, nuts and raisins. I won't eat the raisins. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. Oh, my goodness. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like seeing the whole history of the MRE and these three different uh, menu choices that I pulled out just to kind of see that evolution. Definitely seeing an increase in variety, quality, definitely like less depressing packaging on the outside. Um, comforts of home. I mean, just take a packet of Lifesavers with M&Ms and things like that. PB&J. Some good coffee instead of like, you know, your Folgers Crystals crap. Bland, burnt. To go to that, to like this Irish cream cappuccino. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, check us out. We're Hero Rations. We actually reproduce. Uh, World War II rations from World War II, the, the K ration, the D ration, and the C ration uh, following exact specifications, exemplars in our collection, and Department of Defense records, which is which is awesome, awesome way to experience um, what soldiers ate during World War II. Anyway, check us out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe.